you can't do anything with big data until you handle missing data. There's nothing that you can do. Every single big data set we collect has missing data. The hope is that powerful computers will be able to sift through massive amounts of information to help us in new, amazing ways. Cars can drive themselves as computers learn to sort through all the information on the road. Healthcare workers can spot trends and make better diagnoses with more robust information. But there are some hurdles to cross before we get there. The data is messy. I mean that there are missing data, there's corrupted data, the sensors are biased, they lose their calibration. The government, universities, companies are collecting data and they're just storing it because they don't yet know how to uh, inform their practices based on that data. Right now I'm collaborating with someone in civil and environmental engineering and someone in the School of Natural Resources and the Environment. We in particular are looking at robots that can swim underwater and measure oxidation of the water. Oxygen level in the lake is a really important indicator of the ecosystem in the lake. They need someone who understands sampling algorithms and who understands how to handle the type of data that come from these sensors that can be a little bit um, iffy. Some of them may lose calibration. Uh, some of them disappear because they were moved or eaten by a fish or something like that. Those kinds of issues aren't handled by old school statistical models. You can go by three every six or something like that. People are collecting data in, a, in ways different than they ever have before. With the kind of massive data that people are collecting uh, on medical patients, for example, now using electronic medical records. If a hospital could also leverage all the data they've collected on every patient that's had the same type of symptoms, the same type of history, if we were able to apply these more robust algorithms to that data, it would make a huge difference for so many patients, especially in places where they don't have access to the kind of care that you might have in a big city or just get lucky to have because you have a great doctor. X is an n by 1 vector. And these are the measurements. Then uh, what would p times x be equal to? Unless we handle the fact that there's missing data in all these data sets, we won't be able to do the really strong statistical analysis that we're used to doing on small data sets. Once we have the tools in order to really mine that data to find the really relevant pieces, we could make a huge difference, I mean, broadly from government to health to science. Basically, every field that does data analysis will be completely changed. We just don't have enough ground truth data to validate uh, how good that estimate is. And this wasn't possible until 